friends. It's been a while since I posted a video on this channel and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but today I'm actually going to be doing a video that's more K-pop centered than it is anything else. So if you're here for my book stuff, this is not going to be the video for you. Maybe next <laughs> video will be more book related. But I'm personally excited about this video because a little while ago I was contacted by Emily um, whose YouTube username is Rest is History 87 I'll leave a link below, um, but she was like putting together and hosting this music exchange kind of program, which essentially was um, you get paired with someone and you create a playlist for them that's like mostly K-pop centered. You make a playlist for them and they make a playlist for you and then you also send like a little care package. She sent out this like kind of really massive questionnaire and so you filled that out and so um, when I got paired with the person that I was paired with, I got her answers to the questions and she got mine. So I was paired with Ashley, uh, who also has a YouTube channel. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the user YouTube channel, um, and I don't want to butcher it. And I'm sorry, Ashley, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's U-N-A-G-S-Z-O-R. I will leave the link below. We got paired together and we actually contacted each other after getting paired and we kind of decided that um, since I like boy groups, obviously, um, but I do skew a little bit more into the girl groups and she definitely likes or prefers girl groups more, we decided that um, both our playlists would be girls. Um, groups um, centered. A couple of days ago I got in the mail the package um, which I'm really excited about but I had been waiting to open this because I've been kind of terrible um, at life and I was still kind of putting together her list and package and stuff and so like as like uh, penance <laughs> for being terrible at that I've like Put off opening this but I think it's time to open it I haven't looked it into this um, I literally just pre opened it before the video and I thought I would share with you what Ashley gave me um, and share my reactions on uh, camera because I'm really excited to see the list because I haven't even looked at the um, playlist yet because she sent me the link through email um, to the Spotify list but I made sure I haven't seen it. I had I don't know anything that is in here. So I'm really excited. So let's get started on opening this up. First I do see a letter. So oh and there's a envelope too. So we'll look at the letter first. So one of the other things that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to explain why you picked the songs that you picked. And so this is the playlist and what she picked for me um I'll look at that in a little bit because maybe I should be looking at the little envelope with Jesse thanks for doing the music change I hope you enjoy the mix and find some new favorites I also hope you like the goodies too happy fall Ashley seriously I'm really excited because um she definitely skews more girls generation that's like her number one favorite group, or at least I'm assuming <laughs> per what video she has and what's on her, you know, Twitter. And I actually don't listen to a lot of Girls' Generation. I haven't even like dived into Girls' Generation. So I'm kind of excited to see what she has on her, the list. But first, we are gonna look at the package. It smells really good, whatever it is. <gasps> super cute oh it's it's like little spa stuff if I can open it the first thing and I think this is what I'm actually smelling is frost frosted donut scented bath fizzers look at how cute that is <laughs> the little donut cat oh it's adorable yeah that's definitely what I'm smelling and I see some face masks so I've got a peach sheet mask and a, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, a unicorn glow hologram mask. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know these existed, but now that's awesome. Oh, you can't even see it, but the little unicorn. Oh, I'm super excited. I really like face masks. They work um, pretty well. Um, I have a lot of skin issues, so it's always nice to do some face masks. And then the last thing is an Insta-Dry nail polish. That's really cool. It's like a, I don't know, should I be like a beauty guru? <laughs> um, a uh, purple like glitter. <gasps> that's super cute. Oh, that's a super cute little package. <gasps> Thank you so much, Ashley. This is really nice because it's like a spa day. Oh, I'm super excited. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the playlist that she gave me. Um, I haven't listened to it obviously, and I don't want any strikes on my channel too. Um, so. I think I'm just going to list them and like kind of give my first initial thoughts and then tomorrow I think during work is when I'm gonna actually listen to the playlist um, and then I'll like come back with my thoughts tomorrow I think that's what I'm going to do so let's go this is the Jesse's mostly girl group extravaganza playlist uh, so first is hello Venus is whiskey I think I've only listened to a couple of Hello Venus, so I'm we're already starting up. There's uh, What's Up, Shut Up You, also have not heard them. There's some Girls' Generation, so a, a good chunk of Girls' Generation, which I kind of assumed she was gonna put on here. So I'm actually really glad because um, although I do or have listened to Girls' Generation in the past, I haven't like deep dived into them. And I definitely haven't like listened to anything that would like not be super mainstream about Girls' Generation. So she put on the list one last time, Trick, Talk Talk, and Goodbye. And then we have AOA's Excuse Me, which is a great song. I really like that. We have a couple of Red Velvet, I Just, and Zoo, which I like Red Velvet, but I haven't dived into their B-side. So, um... This is going to be great to listen to. There's La Bomb's uh, Journey to Atlantis, which I haven't actually listened to La Bomb. We have Oh My Girls, The Fifth Season, Playback, Playback, and I don't know Playback. So that's going to be an interesting group. And I wonder, it says this group fell off the face of the earth, but this song still jams. Well, that might be why I don't know them. Oh, that's the worst part about K-pop, though. You get into a group and then they just go away. And then we have from nine is Two Heart, which again, a group that I don't really listen to. We have an Eric Nam, who's not a girl group. <laughs> uh, this is not a love song. I actually really like Eric Nam, so I am okay with the non-girl group being Eric Nam. We have Lim Kim's Ewu. I don't know how you actually pronounce her name. It's one of the girls from Wonder Girls, H-A colon T Felt. I don't know how you actually pronounce that. She put one of her songs on there. I put one of her songs on my list for her. <laughs> oh, we have a um, Rewind, which is a Zomies with uh, featuring Chenyol of EXO. Sorry, I just had a coughing attack. And then we have uh, Yuna of Girls' Generations. Hers, uh, Dok Sung's Stone Walkway, which I haven't listened to, definitely. Um, Taeyeon's from Girls' Generation, I Got Love. I kind of assumed she was going to put some of the solo ones too. So that's a, that's cool. Um, and then also Taeyeon 1111, which Taeyeon, I really actually do really love her voice. So I'm excited to listen to some of those songs. So Hyun's, um Magic. Have I listened to any of So Hyun's stuff? I don't know keep dying. I'm sorry. There's lots of cuts in here. This is a cr crazy video. I don't think I could like point out who So Hyun is in Girls' Generation. So I don't know if I've ever listened to any of her songs. So I'm excited to um, listen to them. But the last song that she has on this is Tiana's Blacklist featuring Ellie of EXID, which is a great song, but also I love EXID. EXID is one of my favorite girl groups of all time. And so I'm like super excited that she 
put a, a song that like features Ellie because Ellie's the rapper of EXID and she um, also has written a couple songs. Did she, she, I, she probably wrote Blacklist. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but she's definitely written a couple songs for Hannah. I'm very excited to listen to it tomorrow um, when it's not like midnight. Um, and so I will give my thoughts and my opinions on the playlist tomorrow. I am losing my voice, but I really wanted to finish up this video. I listened to the mixtape earlier today, but one of the things that I really, really liked about this um, mix, which was something I kind of wanted, it's not that I... It was something that I kind of hoped, even though I didn't really have uh, like any like sort of super expectation on what the mixtape was going to be, because I also kind of wanted it to be like a surprise or a fun thing. Um, but I really liked that there were a lot of Girls' Generation songs on here, because I knew that Ashley liked Girls' Generation, and I think there's just something really great about someone who's like a huge fan of a group suggesting songs, as opposed to someone who's kind of maybe... Um, casually listens to it uh, and I feel like they just I don't know it's like they find that or they know about better songs just because they're so immersed in the group which was really great um, especially because uh, out of the girls generation songs talk talk I would have never expected that kind of song to be a girls generation song I know I'm like kind of biased because like I don't really follow girls generation and only know things like you know G and uh, you know, I've got a boy where it's like drastically different, but Talk Talk was really great um, in that it was very chill and it's got like an R&B vibe to it, which is something I really liked, so I really enjoyed that. Also, some of the other things that I found out, I'm not going to go over all this list because uh, there's a lot of songs, but um, like Red Velvet, I'm a fan of Red Velvet, but I've never listened to their B-sides, and the two that... Uh, Ashley picked were fantastic. They were really really good which means that I should be listening to more b-sides of uh, Red Velvet. I also really enjoyed like I think one of the best things about this whole thing is that we've had to um, do this kind of list where we say why we picked or chose the songs that we did. Um, so it was nice to be able to listen to the, the music and the playlist and have the like paper in front of me to be like like read what it said about the specific song. There are some things that like I thought I didn't know um, but ended up knowing like especially Rewind um, by Jumi. I don't really know him especially off the top of my head and looking at the name I never like put together that uh, Zumi was from Super Junior M which I'm a fan of Super Junior but like Super Junior that super junior m and some of the older super junior stuff i'm not like so super i'm saying super a lot i'm not like into as much and i don't know that much about super junior as opposed to some of the other groups that i'm really into uh, she talks about how she really really likes him so because of that i went and um followed him on spotify and i've been listening to some of his work which is like a fun little added thing. I really loved Ayuna's Dok Sungung Stone Walkway featuring Tin Centimeter. That was also a really good one and it was like a girls generation song that I would not have like probably ever listened to. But yeah, it was a lot of fun listening to this uh, playlist and it's a lot of fun because now I have the playlist that I can listen to at work and then also add some of the other songs to other playlists. I had a lot of fun making my personal playlist for her. It was just kind of fun to be able to be like, here, these are the types of things that I think you would like, or maybe just like, go ahead and try this out, and just, even if you don't like it, but like sharing what like you like to listen to. So it was a lot of fun. Um, so again, I will be listing everybody's uh, YouTube channels down below. Uh, if you like um, 2 p.m. or um, unboxings and that sort of thing, I obviously like 2 p.m. because look at it behind me <laughs> but that's um how I found Emily's channel so she has a lot of videos about that and then for Ashley's channel if you're a girl group uh fan especially girls generation she has a bunch of videos that kind of tie into that and some like cute ones there's like one video I was watching with her and her husband 
and she was trying to get him to guess the boy groups <laughs> based on their picture. But definitely check them out if uh, this is your thing, if like K-pop is your thing, or if you collect photo cards, both of them have photo card collections. They're definitely like the resource to look for in YouTube videos, but yeah. So I'm going to go. I, I don't know what will come of this video once I edit it, but I hope it's not like sporadic. Um, and I'm losing my voice, so I really need to go. Uh, but I will talk to everyone later and hopefully do some more videos soon. Maybe, possibly. All right, bye. <laughs>